Hey YouTube, it's Demetri, and today we're going to talk about what is going on with the Quant Finance Masters here and why they're missing out on this big, huge, monumental change and shift here. I think the programs are slow to adapt. Um, I'm starting to feel around, see what programs are doing. I have not seen a lot of people taking this strategy, so we're going to talk about this because this impacts the programs, the students, and the hiring process here for your corporation with this. So we have a bunch of shift here with the visa process with U.S. student visas. Yes, I'm seeing more and more students saying, hey, I applied, I got accepted to these programs, and now the U.S. government has more or less rejected my application for some sort of reason, and I can't get into this process here. We're seeing a shift, and I'm not saying this is good, I'm not saying this is bad, but we're seeing a very pro-American shift here. And oddly enough, I don't see a lot of the university programs taking advantage of the American talent pool here. So understanding the problem here, in a lot of quantitative finance master's programs, it's predominantly Chinese and Indian. It's been that way um, probably, I don't know, 10, 15 years ago when I was in this, it was a lot more Chinese than Indians. And now as we're shifting through time, um, China's economy is booming, it's getting better and better, their quant market's building out. Uh, more specifically, Singapore and Hong Kong has a lot bigger market. They're drawing more students back for more stable jobs in the quant finance space. 10, 15 years ago, there wasn't a huge quantitative finance space. And because of that, a lot of them were trying to stay do or die, they've got to be here. Now that China's market's kind of adapted and grown a little bit, we see more Chinese end up going home. So some universities have now tried to target India more. We start to see more Indian students um, I just had a guest on this channel here as well from Quant Insider talking about the Indian markets. They're growing slowly. There's still room for growth there. Um, but there are a lot of them are still wanting to come to the U.S. because the job market is better here. There's more quant finance jobs. Um, and also the education system is a little bit different and more targeted here. It's just a bigger industry with more rigor, more academia, more focus. Um, that's not saying there aren't great schools in India, but there are far fewer schools in India than there are in the U.S. here now. So what should schools be doing? I would argue schools should actually be going out to the lesser known U.S. university that are generating quality students and looking for top talent here. So I'm starting to look at two fields that really play into this, and it's going to be statistics programs and it's going to be applied math programs here. Now, when we scroll through these, these are going to be the big players in the quant finance space already. So again, Stanford's on here, but you go to UC Berkeley, Harvard, this is for statistics. Um, University of Chicago, Carnegie Mellon, Columbia, um, Duke, University of Michigan, University of Pennsylvania. University of Pennsylvania, I don't think really has a top program. I'm going to put that out there. People are going to probably disagree with me on this. But why are you not going to the statistics department, departments or the applied math departments on a lot of, the, a lot of these schools here? So again, University of Washington has a quant program, but I would argue you could go into these stats and applied math programs and recruit top talent. Um, again, NC State's going to be in here. University of North Carolina, Chapel Hill, uh, Texas A&M. Um, let's look at even like some of the Midwest schools like University of Minnesota, University of Wisconsin, Iowa State University, Pennsylvania State University. Again, great schools with great undergrad talent that needs to go somewhere. And if we go into the applied math, you'll see the same kind of trend here. I mean, Brown is listed. I don't know if they have a quant program or not. Um, but again, University of Minnesota, UNC comes up. Go deeper. Go deeper into these lists here. Like, let's scroll. Oh, these are only the top so many. But let's get into, like, John Hopkins University. They have a quant program. But again, I don't think they're utilizing a lot of the top resources. You could get into these stats and math programs. Purdue, for example, and pull that talent from the undergrad level and bring them into your programs and make top quants out of them. We're not really tapping into the U.S. markets very well, um, and I'll tell you exactly why. It has been far easier to go internationally because internationally they understand quant finance better. It's a good paying career path, and it really rewards those in math, stats, and computer science. That's where it's at. A lot of students here in the math and these stats departments get overlooked, and those skills are critical for quantitative finance. You notice I'm skipping over computer science here. A lot of computer science students think they know what quant finance is. They don't. I think that's somewhere else you can recruit and get an edge as well, trying to find good top programs with that. 
but I tend to find in the quant side, so doing quantitative finance, not quant dev, not implementation of models. Um, if your program's focused on quant dev, look at these programs again for computer science in the US and start to target it. But I'm gonna tell you, the students in the applied math programs at some of these schools don't know what quantitative finance is. In the statistics departments, they don't know what quantitative finance is. You go to data science machine learning programs as well, they don't know what quantitative finance is. This is a critical opportunity to go and recruit a lot of Americans um, to go through that process here to bring them into the quantitative finance industry. Why am I saying this? Because too many schools are wasting time and resources still trying to fight through the process here uh, with the visas. I'm not saying to abandon your other external international approaches here, but what I am saying is that this is a good top talent market here in the US that's just gone not touched from many programs, many schools. I have talked to programs that say we go to some of these schools and we recruit, but where are they going? They're going to the top schools. They're not going to the top public schools typically. They're trying to get into MITs, NYUs, um, I guess some publics here with UC Berkeley and everything. They're going to these big ones that everyone else is competing at and you're missing a lot of great talent and opportunities there. Now to properly do this, you need to get out to those universities in front of those students and have the discussion and really explain what is quantitative finance? What are you actually doing here? And I would avoid heavily hyping up the trading side of it because a lot of these students aren't going to have an interest in that. They really like to do math and stats. So more on the research side of this here. So this is a trend I, I think is gonna be coming. I think the schools that start doing it now are going to get an edge over the other programs. And why? Because it impacts your acceptance rates, right? Schools think like, oh, their ratings go up. And unfortunately they do in many programs because they have a lot of applicants and they accept only a few students here. But you should be focusing on this because it will impact your ratings, which impacts how many students apply every year. It also gets better quality students, which makes job placement much, much easier. And if your students aren't having visa and sponsorship issues, this will also make your stats and employment go up. So whoever is going to get to this first, I think it's going to give them an edge in the programs here. Again, doing this tactfully, though, is going to be hard. You have to really explain what the job is and not sell them a pipe dream because all it's going to take is one or two years of bad marketing, getting a bunch of students to come, and then them saying, this program is awful. It sucks. It convinced me to do something I didn't want to do. We don't want that to happen. You want longevity and that quality of that program there. So anyways, this is my take on what's happening here. If you're a U.S. student, again, it's not a shoe in Just because you're an American doesn't give you an opportunity for a job. We are still looking for the absolute best quality talent in the quant finance space here. Um, I will put a little self-pitch here at the end. I do academic and industry consulting as part of my Fancy Quant LLC. If you are interested, you can find in the description below my website where you can contact me or my LinkedIn where you can contact me. But in general, I think this is gonna be where the market is headed as we start to move through this pro-American movement here politically. Um, I think this is gonna be a good transition point of finding top talent that's gone undiscovered. Again, it's very expensive to send out people and recruit from these firms or these universities, these undergrads uh, in the US, which is why no one's done it in the past because you're gonna to have to get out there physically in front of them. That's the best way to do it. Um, international students have just wildly came over and it's been much easier to put an ad online, get a bunch of applications, pick the best. Now you're gonna put a little bit more time and money and effort and strategic vision into getting the US you know, student into these jobs and these positions. So anyways, thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. If you found this helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And as always, until next time.